The minister gave the usual Tory platitudes. Yes, she condemned the horrific racism our England stars have faced. But what would she think about the Prime Minister when he was doing, uh, well, when he was describing black people as pickaninnies with watermelon smiles, when he used newspaper columns to mock Muslim women as letterboxes and bank robbers, when he refused to condemn the booing of England players taking the knee, and when his Home Secretary derided the act anti-racist message as gesture politics, isn't it the case, Mr Speaker, like England star Tyrone Mings has said, that the Home Secretary and the Prime Minister were stoking the fire of racism, giving the green light to racism, and only now, when the consequences are clear, are they feigning outrage? Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I, I had hoped that we were going to be able to conduct this debate in uh, a measured and collective way. I, I don't genuinely think the Honourable Lady is accusing either the Prime Minister of this country or indeed the Home Secretary of racism. That would be a truly extraordinary allegation to make. Um, but I hope at some point uh, we will be able to work together to tackle racism. That is what we all want to do. That is what the work of this government is directed towards. And uh, I hope that we're able to just lower the tone a little bit and understand that in, that in again, she's trying to shout at me, again, that in tackling these horrific instances of racism, we need to work collectively together. And, and shouting at me across the dispatch box is not going to help with that.